On November 30th, 1784, Barney I dies in Germany, and he's 74 years old. Barney I dies, and he's 74 years old. In 1792, the Commonwealth of Kentucky becomes a state in the Union of American States. On April 11th, 1795, the word Caucasian is invented by a racist German scientist, Johann Friedrich Blumenbach. Thus, coining a new fancier name, white supremacists could call themselves to give them a false sense of an even greater supremacy, even though white people didn't even originate from the land of Caucasia. Them, just like all of humanity, came out of Africa. In 1797, Kentucky's second governor, James Garrard, passed a pro-squatters legislation that allowed squatters to own the land that they had been tilling, even if they hadn't owned it previously, and not to have to pay taxes on the profits of, their, of the fruits of their tilling. According to James Clotter, land disputes in Kentucky would come down to whoever planted the corn crops and built a cabin. So if you could prove those things, that you had planted some crops and built a house, and then you had a better leg up. In fact, James Harrod was able to get Harrodsburg back from the McAfee boys because of the corn crops and the already built cabins. You just got to be smart about it, and eventually you'll get what you're owed. So we just got to take the land speculators down, and we got to bring the commons and the commonwealth up. Up with the masses, down with the classes. James Girard was also the last governor to secede himself for nearly 200 years in Kentucky. On February 27, 1808, Johann I marries Katharina Anna E. Koning, who was born in 1780. On March 18th or August 31st, 1811, Johann II or Barney IV is born in Ot Marsbacholt at the St. Urban Roman Catholic Church in Germany, which still stands today. In 1812, the German Bible, Grimm's Fairy Tales, was published by the Germans Jacob and William Grimm, who also wrote and published the German Dictionary. Notable Grimm's Fairy Tales are The Pied Piper, Sleeping Beauty, Little Red Riding Hood, Snow White, Cinderella, Rumpelstiltskin, and Hansel and Gretel. In Hansel and Gretel, the children's mother took her own children out to the woods to starve to death while she went back to the house and ate the last piece of bread. The moral of Little Red Riding Hood is to not talk to strangers. The moral of Mr. Mr. Grizzlebeard is that if your man is poor and that requires you to work, then you have to make a choice. You have to either stick it out or you got to find somebody else or you have to be independent. Good episodes of Grimm's Fairy Tales, the Japanese animated cartoon directed by Hiroshi Sato as Mr. Grizzlebeard, The Spirit in the Bottle, Puss in Boots, The Six Who Went Too Far, and Jorindi and Jorindel. On October 12, 1814, Barney II dies. He's 71 years old. Clara, his wife, dies three years later. Anna Kate, a Bruggerman was born on December 11, 1824, on her parents' farm in Sudkirchen, Westphalia, Germany. Her father was Ferdinand Bruggerman, born in 1802, and her mother was Anna Crutwich, born in 1799. Anna Kate was the oldest of nine children. Anna Kate, Anna Catherine, Anna Katharina. She had just one sister, Anna Katharina did, and her name was Maria Gertrude Brueggemann, and she was seven years younger than Anna Katharina. Anna Katharina. Between 1820 and 1920, over 5.5 million Germans immigrated from Germany to the United States. Germany therefore contributed more people than any other country, including Ireland, which had 4.4 million, Italy, which is 4.2 million, and Austria-Hungary, which had 3.7 million. So this makes the Germans Americans the largest minority group in America, at least in 1820 to 1920. On November 13, 1838, Johann Gripsover I, or Katharina, or both, or neither, 
might die in Germany, according to the collaborative Ancestry.com. Johann I would be 56 years old and Katharina Gruppschover would be 59. Johann II is 27 years old, though it's been said that Johann II got the horse farm in 1847. These dates need further clarification. Sandra Bullock. Ach, Mensch, bin ich nervös, weil da drüben auf dem Boden liegt meine Sprache. Okay, ähm, in was für großartigen Zeiten wir leben, weil irgendwann war ich mal Kellnerin, dann war ich Putzfrau, dann war ich Diskotänzerin, dann war ich Hundefriseuse. Wer, wer hätte gedacht, dass alle diese Berufe mich eines Tages auf diese Bühne führen würden? Aber so, at least we know from 1847 to 1838, Johann II got his father's horse farm. In 1840, Johann Bernard Grubschover I, or Borny III, owned a tile uh, and textile factory in Munster, Germany. Johann II probably worked in his father's textile factory. In 1840, Johann Bernard Sr. bought a horse farm in Ottmar's Bucholt, from a Duke of Earl named Drosty Hoss, Hosshoff. Hosshoff. In 1843, the first government common school in Kitten County was established in Sanford Town, Kentucky, a German town which no longer exists. 37 children were enrolled of the 90 children who lived in the district. The school term was for three months. L. Hathaway, their educator, was paid $22.80 for teaching there. $22.80 the year uh, for the year. Sanford Town was home to the first elementary school and fire department in Kenton County. Sanford Town Fire Department merged with Edgewood Fire Department in 1955 and changed its name to Southern Hills Volunteer Fire Department in 1961. Johann Most, a German revolutionary, was born on February 5th, 1846 in Augsburg's Bavaria. On November 7, 1848, Johann Gripschover II and Anna Katharina Bruggermann of Südkirchen are married. Südkirchen. Johann Gripschover had one sister who later lived in Canada. A Bruggermann family lived two farms away from the Gripschover horse farm. Johann and Anna Katharina probably met there. Anna Katharina was 24 years old. And Johann Grusser was 37 years old when they married. The wedding took place at St. Urban Catholic Church, a church with the steeple, which still exists in the Grubschover's original German hometown of Ottmar's Bucholt, Westphalia. You can still see this church in the distance while standing in the yard of the old Grubschover family farm. In 1848, also in 1848, Karl Marx wrote the Communist Manifesto and in like 50 revolutions across Europe including Germany and two in Latin America in Brazil and the Republic of New Granada there were revolutions Victor Hugo's Les Miserables was about 1848 revolutions about the French Revolution in 1848 the springtime of Seven years he fought single-handed against Austria, Russia, Sweden, and France, thus creating throughout the other German states the myth that Prussian arms were invincible. In 1786, Frederick died, but Frederick's state and Frederick's dream of conquest lived on, nurtured and developed by the Prussian militarists, who regarded each war as only one campaign in an unending war for Prussian supremacy in Europe. To this end, Scharnhorst, the organizer, and Gneisenau, the strategist, established the Prussian general staff. Von Clausewitz, the theorist, set down their gospel in his famous book, Von Krieger on war. 
Just as Prussia has been fated to be the core of Germany, so Germany will be the core of the future German Empire of the West. Clausewitz's book became the Bible of the Prussian militarists. Conquered people shall be left with nothing but their eyes to weep with. But even as the militarists were plotting, a wave of liberalism swept over Europe. Its eddies reached even Prussia. And ordinary men began to think for themselves and to demand what had long been accepted in America, England, and France, a constitution. The king of Prussia answered, never must a scrap of paper come between me and my subjects. The constitution, a scrap of paper. Some citizens determined on liberty went to the barricades. The machinery of the Prussian state went into action. The revolt died. The will to liberty was not strong enough within the people to defy the voice of authority. One result of which, men with a love of liberty began to leave Prussia and the other German states. In the next 30 years, two million of them came to find freedom in the United States alone while their cousins, remaining behind, were molded into ruthless automatons, ready to follow blindly the will of a leader. And that leader arose. Otto von Bismarck. Nations is what the revolutions were called. The goals, they wanted to get rid of the corrupt political leadership. They also wanted more participation in democracy, and they wanted to end the economic disparity of the working class. The 1848 revolutions failed, because of the regrouping of the reactionary forces based in the royalty, the aristocracy, the army, and even the peasants who the revolutionary intellectuals couldn't win over. So some of the poor people actually fought against their own interests because the intellectuals weren't able to connect to the peasants, which I see with the current Occupy movement. Karl Marx wrote prolifically because four of his seven children died because of the impoverished conditions in Europe during his time. Karl Marx spent his entire life writing because he never wanted anybody to have to live in the same shitty impoverished conditions that killed his four children. William Justice Goebbels' mother remembers how in 1849 the militia would go in and not just kill individuals, but would wipe out entire towns. Men, women, children, everybody in Prussia, Bavaria, amongst the German-speaking peoples who are exposed to the constant Prussian militarism. The 1848 Springtime of Nations revolutions changed the world forever. The 1848 German Revolution came from the love and the desire for German unity and for there to be a German Empire. Once the German Revolution failed, lots of Germans went to America. The German grip servers in the old country, however, didn't leave yet. The German 1848ers were devout believers in Marxism, science, and atheism. In 1850, there were 235 blacks in Over the Rhine, Cincinnati's Little Germany. In 1850, there were 235 African Americans in Over the Rhine, Cincinnati's Little Germany. On December 10th, 1851, baby Barney W. Gripschover is born in Otmars Butchult, Germany, on 23 Dorf's bar shaft. Manfred Bucher, whose father, whose grandfather's father, grandfather's grandfather, bought Johann Gripschover II's farm before he sailed to America as the man who owns 23 Dorf's bar shaft in Otmars Butchult today. And his email address is manfred.bucher at t-online.de. In the 1850s, Sanford Town, a city located in Kenton County in northern Kentucky, began to organize itself. Sanford Town was named after B.F. Sanford, and B.F. Sanford was a clerk for the U.S. State Department during the Civil War. In 1855, there were anti-German Catholic Democrat white ethnic riots in both Cincinnati in April and Louisville in August started by the nativist Know Nothing Party. The Know Nothing riots happened because the Catholic foreigners were aiding and abetting the newly freed Negro along the Underground Railroad. The sister cities of Cincinnati are Munich, Germany and Tijuana, Mexico. Louisville's sister cities are Mainz, Germany